In the late 1970s, a dispute between the White House and Congress on the limits of presidential authority created more than just the usual awkward tension in Washington, D.C. It also led to a badly fragmented United States Supreme Court decision in Goldwater v. Carter. Without the Senate's approval, President Jimmy Carter unilaterally rescinded a defense treaty with Taiwan. Carter was hoping to form a new treaty with the People's Republic of China. In so doing, however, he incurred the wrath of Senator Barry Goldwater and several other senators who filed a lawsuit against the president. The Constitution is silent on how a treaty can be terminated, but the senators argued that, because a two-thirds majority in the Senate is required to ratify a treaty, the same Senate approval is also required to nullify a treaty. The district court agreed and held that congressional approval is required for the termination of a treaty. The Court of Appeals reversed, holding that unilaterally terminating the treaty was within the president's authority, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.